In this video, we are reviewing the rebirth of a conqueror, whose reputation spans to even some of the most remote and difficult to get to places in the world. It's the Toyota Land Cruiser 200. This is a vehicle that was made to be driven off-road. So for this review, we have brought it to Saunders Gorge Sanctuary to be driven by a South Australian four-wheel driving adventurer and trainer, Rob Ackerland. Charlie, hello, and thanks very much for the opportunity to uh, have a close look at the new upgraded Land Cruiser 200. Today we've got a VX petrol with 550 newton metres of torque and about 228 kilowatts of power. That upgraded engine is going to be well worked, I guess, in today's really solid, tough, steep terrain. And we're going to have the time to take you through and have a very close look at the new multi-terrain select, the upgraded five-speed crawl control and how that's working. Uh, the turn response, uh, which is new as well, and we've already seen how improved the turning circle is on this vehicle. And just to actually give it a really good shake out. So why don't we get going? Excellent, let's do it. Getting to experience firsthand the crawl was amazing. It allows an off-road rookie like me to smoothly handle some extreme off-road conditions. That is steep. That's about 33 plus degrees. It's very steep actually. Yeah, Charlie, I mean, when you look at this one and compared to the, to the previous model with, with the crawl control, for example, with, with three speeds, it was great, but it just didn't give you the really fine levels of control and that, that comfort and that safety that you really do need in some pretty, as you've experienced, some quite challenging downhill situations. So that's what makes that extra couple of speeds in crawl really that much more important. The multi-terrain select regulates wheel spin, while the multi-terrain ABS regulates lock-up, ensuring optimum traction on any off-road scenario. Turn Assist is uh, the latest piece of technology for, the new, for this new series of Land Cruiser 200 and it's a very noticeable improvement. What it does is actually break a wheel and actually allows the vehicle to pivot more quickly. And in off-road situations, that's very important. It's noticeable as we've been doing the evaluation today that the vehicle's much more manoeuvrable than the previous model. So I think it's one of the standout changes in this vehicle. In the Land Cruiser 200, multi-terrain select is an improvement on active traction control and all-terrain ABS available on previous models. The multi-terrain select system allows us to adjust the vehicle um, to cope with the wide range of terrain that you would expect a Land Cruiser of this sort to be capable of travelling through and does it very, very easily indeed. Along with its off-road tweaks and enhancements, the Land Cruiser 200 boasts a range of other features that include push start and keyless entry, leather trim, front and rear parking sensors, reversing camera, a 6.1 inch LCD Bluetooth sat nav, dual front climate control, rear air outlet, moonroof and the revised multi-information display with colour graphics. And a personal favourite of mine is the very stylish daylight running LEDs, which give the Land Cruiser 200 an ultra-modern design. The interior of the Land Cruiser 200 spells out luxury and comfort for the driver and every passenger. There are also foldable seats in the back. The power behind this wagon is exceptional as it generates 227 kilowatts of power and has 439 newton metres of torque. But the VX's V8 petrol engine has a thirsty combined fuel consumption of 13.6 litres per 100 kilometres. Still at the top of the heap when it comes to towing big, big vans, big floats, those sort of things. It's what it's there for. It tows brilliantly. And from that perspective, that's another reason why you buy one over above anything else. Simply, if you want a tow, there isn't a better vehicle. With its off-road capabilities and an interior that embodies comfort, the Toyota Land Cruiser 200 really is the king of the off-road experience.